Welcome to Nature.Empires, where the wild comes alive. From the depths of the oceans to the peaks of the mountains, join us on a journey to discover the most incredible creatures and untamed landscapes on Earth. Every week, we bring you closer to nature's wonders, uncovering secrets and marvels that will leave you breathless. Experience the thrill of the wild with Nature.Empires. Dive into the beauty, the mystery, and the adventure of our natural world. Subscribe now and never miss an episode. Your adventure begins here. Most people don't have a soft spot for slimy or creepy crawly creatures. Some of the grossest critters found in nature fall under the category of parasites. Though we despise them, they seem to thrive on us. Kudos to the scientists who study these organisms, especially the entomologists. This list is dedicated to both them and anyone with a deep aversion to the world of parasites. While not ranked by level of disgust, this list briefly highlights some of the worst offenders, but it's by no means an exhaustive catalog of parasitic horrors. Bed bugs. You might have thought, don't let the bed bugs bite, was just a bedtime rhyme, but these pests are as real as the others on this list. Bed bugs have seen a resurgence, partly due to increased travel and changes in insecticide usage. These tiny, blood-sucking creatures typically live in mattresses and can bite unnoticed, often mistaken for mosquito bites. The real problem with bed bugs isn't the physical harm but the psychological stress they cause. They're difficult to detect, infest both clean and dirty environments, and are incredibly resilient, able to survive a year without feeding. Lice. Lice infestations are common, particularly among children, though anyone can get them. These parasites rely on human blood to survive, and there are different types, head, body, and pubic lice. Lice cause itching and irritation, and while they're tiny, they're easy to spot. With proper treatment, lice can be eliminated, but reinfestations are common, so everyone in the household needs to be checked. Tapeworms, like hookworms, are intestinal parasites typically transmitted through undercooked meat containing their eggs. Once ingested, they develop in the host's intestines, feeding on blood and nutrients. As hermaphrodites, they produce eggs that can contaminate soil, restarting the cycle. Symptoms of infection are often absent initially, allowing tapeworms to grow up to 30 feet, leading to bloating and malnutrition. If untreated, they can persist for decades. Mites are everywhere, including on humans. While most are harmless, some mites, like scabies, cause significant discomfort, burrowing into the skin and causing intense itching. These parasites are treated with topical medications, and though unpleasant, they're typically manageable. Hookworms are transmitted via fecal matter, with eggs hatching into larvae that can survive in soil for about a month. When humans contact these larvae, typically through the feet, they enter the bloodstream, travel to the heart and lungs, and can be expelled through coughing or swallowed into the small intestine. In the intestine, hookworms attach to the wall and feed on blood, potentially leading to anemia and severe symptoms if untreated. The life cycle continues as the host excretes more eggs. Not all leeches are blood suckers, but those that are can be found in water or on land. They attach to their host with their sucker-like mouths and use special enzymes to keep the blood flowing. Though leeches are infamous for their bite, they're also used in medicine due to their blood-thinning properties. Despite the ick factor, leech bites aren't usually dangerous, with minimal blood loss and rare allergic reactions. Human Botflies Botflies are known for their gruesome life cycle. Found primarily in Central and South America, their larvae are deposited by mosquitoes onto human skin. Once hatched, the larvae burrow into the skin, feeding on flesh for several weeks before emerging. The presence of a botfly larva is obvious, with a visible hole in the skin used for breathing. Removal should be done by a medical professional to avoid complications. Fleas, known for spreading diseases like the Black Plague, are highly efficient at reproducing. 
They live on hosts, typically pets, and their eggs often hatch in the areas where the host sleeps. In their short lives, fleas can produce hundreds of eggs, leading to infestations. With their flattened bodies and jumping ability, fleas are well-suited to parasitic life. Ticks, classified as arachnids, come in many varieties and can carry diseases like Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. They attach themselves to hosts in areas with dense vegetation and can remain undetected for weeks while feeding. Ticks have complex life cycles, often involving multiple hosts. Proper removal involves steady extraction with tweezers, avoiding outdated methods like using a match or petroleum jelly. Mosquitoes Most of us have been bitten by mosquitoes, but beyond the itchy bumps, they're one of the deadliest parasites, spreading diseases like malaria, West Nile virus, and yellow fever. Female mosquitoes require blood to reproduce, laying their eggs in standing water. They use a proboscis to draw blood, often unnoticed until the bite begins to itch. While repellents can help, mosquitoes remain a global health threat. And there you have it, the top 10 most revolting parasites. These unsettling creatures show just how bizarre and brutal nature can be. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more creepy content.